Hello viewers, in this video we will discuss on reciprocal of a rational number, division of rational number, decimal representation of rational number and insertion of rational numbers between two given rational numbers. But before we begin, I am Savikas and you are watching online because please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. What is reciprocal? If x into y equals to 1, then x is called the reciprocal of y and y is called the reciprocal of x. Meaning to say, when you are multiplying two numbers and you get 1 as a result, then the numbers you are multiplied are called reciprocal of each other. You will see this example. 2 by 5 multiplied by 5 by 2 equals to 1. In this case, if you see the factors that means 2 by 5 and 5 by 2 if you multiply them 2 and 2 will get cancelled 5 and 5 will get cancelled so what will left only 1 so 2 by 5 is the reciprocal of 5 by 2 as well as 5 by 2 is the reciprocal of 2 by 5 you will see this a by b is the reciprocal of b by a that means when you are getting a rational number just you have to make the denominator uh, numerator and numerator will become denominator okay if a by b is the reci number rational number and if you want to find the reciprocal of a by b then the reciprocal is b by a so here is a question what is the reciprocal of minus 7 by 2 you will comment me in the comment section note that reciprocal is always also known as multiplicative inverse okay sometime we used to call it multiplicative inverse 0 has no reciprocal okay because why 0 has no reciprocal because if you multiply anything with 0 results will be 0 meaning to say there is no rational number or even you can say there is no available number with what you will multiply 0 to get 1 so 0 has no reciprocal okay now reciprocal of p by q is denoted as p by q inverse 1 inverse 1 that is you can see here p by q whole to the power minus 1 it is known as inverse 1 okay so when i say p by q inverse or reciprocal of p by q that means p by q inverse 1 okay so p by q inverse 1 is equal to q by p reciprocal similarly p by q inverse 1 and again inverse 1 will be what p by q why because uh, this is p by q okay p by q inverse 1 so it will become what q by p and again inverse 1 meaning to say it will become p by q so if x is a rational number okay say so x is a rational number then x inverse 1 inverse 1 will be equal to x okay here i am giving an equation what is the reciprocal of 1 you will comment me in the comment section now let's say division of rational numbers division is nothing but multiplication of dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor it uh, will little bit complex for you i think mean, division is nothing but multiplication of dividend here is a term dividend by the reciprocal of div the divisor so dividend and divisor i hope you all know what is dividend and what is divisor you will see this example a by b divided by c by d okay here in this case a by b this a by b is called this a by b is called the dividend okay and this c by d is called the divisor so as i say the division is nothing but multiplication of dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor so multiplication of dividend so a by b will remain a by b okay multiplication sign and the reciprocal of the divisor what was our divisor c by d c by d so what is its reciprocal d by c so a by b into d by c so this is the basic form of multiplication of rational numbers you will see this example 5 by 2 divided by 3 by 7 okay so 5 by 2 is the dividend and 3 by 7 is the divisor so what we will do 5 by 2 multiplied by reciprocal of its divisor so what is its reciprocal 
that is 3 by 7. The reciprocal of 3 by 7, what is the number? 3 by 7. 3 by 7 is the divisor. So, the reciprocal of 3 by 7 is what? 7 by 3. So, so just simply 5 by 2 multiplied by 7 by 3. The change you see here, the 3 by 7 has been changed to 7 by 3. Why? Because it has become the reciprocal. Because the, also the division sign will change to multiplication. Okay, so don't do any kind of mistake in this case. Huh? It is very clear. 5 by 2, I'm writing 5 by 2 here. Division has been changed to multiplication sign. 3 by 7 has been changed to its reciprocal, that is 7 by 3. Very simple. Okay, now you see 5 into 7, the numerator will be multiplied. We know how to multiply uh, two rational numbers, or you can say uh, we know how to multiply two factors. In my previous video I discuss about the multiplication of rational number if you don't know or if you have not seen this video then you can uh, search my video there and you can learn the multiplication of rational number okay so 5 into 7 and 2 into 3 so 5 into 7 is what 35 2 into 3 is what 6 one more example 15 by 38 divided by minus 3 by 19 Okay, the uh, dividend is 15 by 38 and the divisor is minus 3 by 19. So, 15 by 38 multiplied by, you see, the divisor was what? This is minus 3 by 19. So, it will change to its reciprocal. So, 19 by minus 3. 19 by minus 3. And the division sign has, division sign has changed to multiplication. Okay, now what we will do? 15 into 19 and 38 into minus 3. Now, if we cancel each other, that means 19 will cancel 38, 19 2 is 38 and 3 5 is 15. So, in the numerator, what we are left with? 5 and 1. So, 5 into 1 and in the denominator, 2 into minus sign and 1. So, 2 into minus 1. Uh, in I am always telling you, don't forget to put the minus sign. Okay. So, 2 into minus 1 is minus 2, 5 into 1 is 5. So, 5 by minus 2, just take it into its standard form. What is standard form? I discussed in my previous video. 5 by minus 2 will change to its standard form, that is minus 5 by 2. Meaning to say, the denominator will become positive. You have to make the denominator positive. Okay, here minus sign is in the 2, that means it is in the denominator. Okay, so just you take that minus sign to the numerator. And nothing will change except that okay so this way we can divide any two rational numbers decimal representation of rational numbers express we will discuss this representation of decimal number into uh, uh, representation of rational number into its decimal form we will discuss it with the examples with the help of examples so first of all let us say 1 by 4 okay we will express this 1 by 4 as the uh, decimal number okay so what we will do 1 by 4 1 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator so 1 by 4 when i when we write a fraction okay this 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 equals to what 1 divided by 4 now 1 numerator divided by denominator okay so uh, if you divide the 1 by 4, 4, you say 4, first of all, 4, one, 4 cannot divide 1, okay, 4 cannot divide 1, because 1 is the smaller number and 4 is the bigger number, so bigger number cannot divide a smaller number, so what we will do, we, we will place a point here, okay, at this point, okay, so that point will bring a 0 at the back of this 1, okay, that means 1 will now change to 10, so 4, 2 are 8, Okay, from 10 minus 8 is what? 2. Now, since we have already put the point in the quotient, so one more 0 will be placed after the 2. Now, 20. Okay, 4, 5, 0, 20. So, in this way, we have got 1 by 4 is equal to 0 0.25. Okay. See one more example. 1 by 12. In this case, we will try to represent 1 by 12 as in its uh, decimal form. As, I, as earlier I told you, 1 by 12 can be written as 1 divided by 12. So, if you divide the 1 by 12, but, but uh, you see, 1 cannot be divided by 12. Why? Because if you see, if you, uh, you know, 
uh, uh, with the help with a bigger number you cannot divide a smaller number in that case you must have to introduce a point okay so first i put the point so uh, because of that point i will put a zero after one so now one has changed to 10 till here you understand because of that point i put a zero so one has changed to 10 okay but you see still 10 is smaller than 12 understood still the 10 is smaller than 12 still you cannot divide the 10 by 12 so what we will do we will need one more zero after that 10 okay for that case because of that point we cannot bring uh, two zeros at the same time okay because of that point you can bring only one zero at one time okay so to get another zero you have to put zero in the quotient after the point okay this zero you see this zero because of this zero we got this zero okay now 100 now you simply have to divide 12 h 96 so 100 minus 96 is 4 because of that point we can bring a 0 here after the 4 so 4 has become 40 12 3 is 36 again 4 remain remainder because of that point we can put another 0 after 4 this step okay so uh, 12 3 is 36 and again we are getting 4 here in this case 1 by 12 is equal to 0 0.833 dot 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 okay it will it will never end okay because all the time you will get remainder 4 and 4 and 4 so in the quotient 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 and so on so in this case this specific type of uh, you know decimal is known as non-terminating decimal number okay because it will never end but in our previous case we got 0 0.25 no so there in that case we got remainder 0 that means we have finished there okay there is no any other number in the quotient okay no number is repeating so in that case that one is terminating decimal but this one is non-terminating decimal okay just i am introducing the term terminating decimal and non-terminating decimal because uh, you will need these two terms in your next class that means in class uh, 8 or 9 you will get it now see one more example a minus 9 by 40 okay here what is happening uh, i have put a minus sign before the rational number 9 by 40 okay minus 9 by 40 what we will do we will simply divide 9 by 40 okay so as earlier i discussed how to divide in this case also if you see and if you try to understand you will get it okay so in this way we have got 0 0.225 as the quotient but the rational number was minus 9 by 40 so minus 9 by just you simply place the negative sign before the quotient that means minus 9 by 40 is equal to minus 0 0.225 in this case also we have got, we have got 0 at the end okay so 0 at the end means what it is terminating decimal number hope you are clear with this now insertion of rational numbers between two given rational numbers okay unlimited rational numbers can be found out between any two rational numbers now simply if i ask you how many numbers you can insert between two and five say i'm saying natural number okay not a rational number between this two and five how many natural numbers are there definitely three Oh, sorry uh, between 2 and 5 no 3 4 these two rational two natural numbers are there in between 2 and 5 okay but in case of rational numbers you can find unlimited numbers of rational number in between any two rational numbers okay how to find them out we will discuss okay uh, with the help of questions okay and these type of questions are very uh, common in your exams okay so you listen it very carefully list five rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 5 okay minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 5 so what we will do we will make the denominator same first of all we will make the denominators same but in this case minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 5 both the denominators are same 
So in this case, what we'll do? In this case, what we'll do? Now you tell me minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 5. How many uh, rational number you can easily find it out? You can easily find it out minus 1 by 5. Because my, you see uh, from minus 2, minus 2, you remember the uh, number line, okay? Minus 2 is in the left side and 1 is in the right side, okay? Between minus 2 and 1, what are the numbers? Minus 1, 0. These two numbers are there. Easily you can find them, okay? Minus 1 by 5 and 0 by 5. That means 0 by 5 means 0. So these are two numbers that you can find easily. But we need five rational numbers. So something we have to do. Okay, so what we'll do, we will do, we will convert this to common denominator. Okay, there is also 5 in this 2 by 5. Okay, and in 1 by 5, there is also 5. But we will change it into a common number by multiplying. That means we will enlarge it, we will magnify it. Okay, 5 will become 30. Say, 5 we multiply 6. Say we multiply 6, okay, with both the numerator and denominator. That means 5 into 6 will become 30 and minus 2 into 6 will become minus 12, okay. So this minus 2 by 5 has changed to minus 12 by 30. Similarly, if you multiply 6 and 6, this has changed to 6 by 30. Remember my dear student, always you have to make this denominator same, okay. You have to make this denominator same. This is the basic rule, okay. What you will multiply, it is depend upon on you, okay. In this case, I multiplied 6, but if you think, no, I will multiply 10, that is also right, okay. And uh, the answer will not same with everyone, okay. That means the answers are not unique. If I get another answer, you will get another answer, okay. In this case, I multiply 6, you can multiply 10. You can multiply 20, you can multiply 100, no problem, okay. Just you need to five, you need to find five rational numbers between them, okay. Now you see, minus 12 by 30 and 6 by 30. This is the number line, okay. This is a number line. And it said this is zero. This is a middle term, this is zero, okay. Then, this side is minus 12. Yes or no? And this side somewhere is 6. So in between minus 12 and 6, can't you find any 5 numbers? Definitely we can find. Minus 11, minus 10, minus 9, minus 5, oh, minus 4, minus 3, minus uh, 1, 0, even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes or no? There are a lot of numbers. So among these numbers, we just have to we just have to list only five numbers. You see this one. The required rational numbers are minus eleven by thirty, minus ten by thirty, minus nine by thirty, minus eight by thirty, minus seven by thirty. So these are the required rational numbers. Okay. So to you know to understand it better, let us see one more example. Minus four by five and minus two by five. Minus 4 by 5, oh sorry, uh, in my question I have wrote it wrong, okay. So you correct it, huh? it is 3, minus 2 by 3. So now minus 4 by 5 and minus 2 by 3. In this case, the denominators are different, you see. Here it is 5 and here it is 3. Here it is 5 and here it is 3. So what we will do? You see, in my previous slide, I told you that you have to make the denominator same. Okay. In this case also, your prime aim is to make the denominator same. Okay. Now, here in this case, I multiplied with this 5, 9. And with this 3, I multiplied 15 to get 45 as the denominator. Common denominator has become 45 in this case. And in this case, it also is also 45. Okay. Now, many of you are think, thinking, why sir has not multiplied with this 5, 3 and with this 3, 5? Because in that case, 5, 3 is a 15, it would become, and it, it would become 3, 5 is a 15 in the second case. Okay. But 
if you do it in that way you will not be able to find five rational numbers in that case you might be able to find only two or one rational number okay you can try it out in your home okay so whenever you are uh, you know five or ten rational numbers are given always you try to do one thing you make it larger okay make the denominator larger okay i could multiply three with this five and i could multiply five with this three but in that case i would get 15 as the denominator common denominator but if i do in that way i would uh, find only one or two rational number okay so for safety you have to take a large number that means you have to keep the denominator a large number okay so if uh, you are thinking that then why sir has not uh, make it 75 because 5 uh, 15 there is 75 and 3 something 3 say 3 25 there is 75 in that case 75 would be a become a larger number yes that is also right you can you could do in that way also okay there is no certain rule and i as i told you the results will be different okay so so no matter what you are doing so just your aim is to make the denominator same okay and you have to find out five rational numbers in this question okay in another question you may get a list of 10 rational number in that case i would multiply a bigger number okay i would multiply i would make the denominator not 45 i'd make the denominator uh, say um, 90 yes or no? i'd make to get 10 rational numbers or even i can make it more better than that more greater than that okay so so don't indulge in this same topic here so my minus 4 if you multiply oh one more thing always you multiply the same number with this denominator and denominator okay here in this multi in here i multiply 9 and 9 both with the numerator and denominator and in that case i multiply 15 with the numerator and as well as with the denominator okay so minus 36 by 45 and minus 30 by 45 these are the rational number okay these are nothing but equivalent rational numbers uh, these are nothing but equivalent rational numbers okay so minus 36 by 45 and minus 30 by 45 what are the numbers you can find out between minus 30 and minus 36 so minus 30 and minus 36 if you go further uh, you know go to the left from minus 30 minus 31 minus 32 minus 33 minus 34 minus 35 okay and stop so these are the rational number that we can find between minus 13 minus 36 so we can express this the required rational numbers are minus 31 by 45 minus 32 by 45 minus 33 by 45 minus 34 by 45 minus 35 by 45 okay hope you are clear with this at least five rational numbers between minus 4 and minus 5 okay you will see minus 4 uh, this, uh, minus 4 minus 4 is what is it a rational number yes indeed it's a rational number why i'm telling this is a rational number because minus 4 can be expressed as the form of p by q okay yes last night i took an took a test online test there i gave a question minus 4 okay uh, minus every integers in fact every integers is a rational number with the denominator 1 okay the denominator remains one though it is invisible but there exists there exists a one okay so similarly minus five also can be written as minus five by one okay so we will use that minus four will be written as minus four by one and minus five will be written as minus five by one okay as earlier i told you to make the denominator common or same okay in this case i multiplied six okay 1 6 is 6 and minus 4 6 is minus 24 so minus 24 by 6 and similarly minus 5 into 6 is minus 30 1 into 6 is 6 so minus 30 by 6 in both the cases we got uh, 6 as the common denominator though we have common denominator 1 but it is very small okay if you take that one you will not be getting any kind of rational number in between them okay because minus 4 and minus 5 will where there is uh, you can you find out any rational number within minus 4 and minus 5 like no so we enlarge it okay you have to enlarge it so i enlarge it and 1 has become 6 and 
so we got minus 24 by 6 and minus 30 by 6 okay now many students may be thinking why sir has multiplied 6 in stitch 6 there is a lot of numbers we could multiply but yes you're right but if you multiply say 6 or sorry 5 or say 4 then you would not be able to get 5 rational numbers but in the question it is given that you have to find 5 rational numbers okay to find the 5 rational numbers you have to make it you know the denominator must be a bigger number okay comparatively 6 is bigger okay so if you are thinking that uh, if i uh, i will if i if i multiply 10 with this denominator that means if i make the denominator 10 will it be wrong no you are right you are correct in fact okay but if you multiply less than 6 okay in this case in this case i am particularly in this case if you multiply less than 6 you would not be getting uh, five rational numbers okay so that's why so if you are thinking that no i will multiply 10 okay you can multiply okay if you are multiplying you if you are thinking that you will multiply 20 yes you can okay so minus 24 by 6 and minus 30 by 6 so let's don't waste the time minus 24 by 6 and minus 30 by 6 in between them can you tell me what are the numbers okay so from minus 24 and minus 30 okay minus 24 will be the left at the left of the number line and minus 30 will be the right of the number line okay from the uh, you know compared to the minus 24 okay so minus 24 and minus 30 what are the numbers in between them okay uh, i think i have you know i told you wrong minus 24 will be the at the right and minus 30 will be at the left okay sorry so from minus 24 to minus 30 you have to go minus 25 minus 26 minus 27 minus 28 minus 29 in this way you will get five numbers okay these are the required rational numbers minus 25 by 6 minus 26 by 6 minus 27 by 6 minus 28 by 6 and minus 29 by 6 okay hope this is clear with you and uh, this is the end of this video uh, please download the pdf of this video and if you find this video useful then please like the video and share with your friends and family to get more videos like this don't forget to subscribe the channel and god bless you all